si tout le monde en offrait plus pour Noël. Plus que quelques jours pour profiter de l'incroyable Noël des bouquets Canal+, et du décodeur HD à 5000 francs au lieu de 10 000. Profitez des meilleurs programmes pour toute la famille, pour passer les plus belles fêtes de fin d'année. La fête commence Faire le plein d'amitié. On va avoir besoin de tous les copains. De douceur. Moi, je pense, je vis cuisine. De magie. Vous allez illuminer le ciel. D'émotion. Un vrai compte de fées. Et ce n'est pas fini. Ah oui. En janvier, vos super-héros débarquent sur vos écrans. Super. Ça a l'air chouette. Alors, n'attendez plus pour vous abonner. C'est beau ce que tu dis. Hello, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How you doing? This is Bless Biafran Network. Introducing you to you, our brother Joseph Kuchuku Brokers. Thank you. Have a nice day and watch. Hi everyone. I hope you're all doing great today. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. I am. Uh, so there's this breaking news that's actually all over the media in Nigeria. Uh, it says U.S. places Nigeria on special watch list, SWL, of countries that tolerate religious persecution. The United States of America under Donald J. Trump has actually placed Nigeria on special watch list of countries that tolerate religious persecution. And so, in the document that is spread out in front of me here, it says... In addition, U.S. Congressman Chris Smith welcomed the addition of Nigeria to the SWL, which is special watch list. Mr. Smith, who had visited Nigeria to consult with stakeholders on religious freedom, promised that we will pay particular attention to Nigeria and the deteriorating situation under the government of President Muhammad Buhari in the year ahead. In other words, they will pay special attention to the deteriorating situation in Nigeria under Buhari starting from 2020. Stating further, Mr. Smith says, I also call upon the State Department to monitor the actions of Miyeti Allah with regard to, the, to its complicity in attacks by Fulani extremists. That's coming from the United States of America under Donald J. Trump. Okay, so let's go further. That's not the only breaking news, just that this is the one you're seeing now, but there's the one happening in South Sudan. CNN will not tell you that. The mainstream media will not tell you that. All these guys will not tell you that. I want you, if you have access to any device that has Google on it, I want you to just Google, U.S. imposes sanctions on South Sudan officials. What you're going to find out is this. It says, the United States has imposed sanctions on two senior South Sudanese officials it accuses of fomenting conflict, the U.S. Treasury Department said on Monday in its latest move to pressure the country's politicians to form a unity government. They are pressuring the officials. This is what gave birth to the unity government meeting that took place in Sudan some days ago. A unity government is being formed in Sudan right now as we speak. This is the same South Sudan that is predominantly Christian and the European forces of darkness who put that unholy marriage together have been praying and fighting and working on the ground to see that Sudan does not stand. The South Sudanese uh, uh, country does not stand. How many of you know that the satanic agent from the pit of hell called Lord Lugard, who brought the unholy alliance we have in Nigeria together, is the same person who did it in Sudan. And when South Sudan now balkanized and got their own freedom and became a state, a nation state, the European forces went on the ground and decided to make sure that they create so much instability in that place so that any other nation that is thinking or even imagining that they want to be free like Biafra and so many other people who are being oppressed in some places where they are forced to become part of the nation that when you look at what is happening in South Sudan you will be like oh my gosh is this what we're gonna go through as you can see so many media houses have already started making reference to South Sudan oh you want to have a nation of your own look at South Sudan that's what they wanted but Donald Trump has come in and said, I will not take that nonsense. You guys, you either make peace now or something else is going to happen to you. And they are having a peace talk right now. Unity government is about to be formed in Sudan. Donald J. Trump. 
you can look up that of Cameroon and you will open up your mouth and ask why are we supporting Trump look at what has just happened and the media in Nigeria is so happy to flash the news to flash the news and you wonder you ask why am I supporting Trump and you ask me why are you why are you focusing on America you are stupid you don't have brains that's the biggest problem we have. It's not even what the autocratic regime in Abuja is doing. It's not even what the tyrant in Abuja is doing. It is how the people are thinking. Big Brother Niger and all these Big Brother show and stupid things is all they have in their brains. They don't think like human beings. You ask it. Even the families who are going to benefit from America's intervention in Nigeria are in America fighting Donald Trump. They're fighting Donald Trump. They're in the U.S. fighting the man. And the man is fighting for them. This man could have just decided to focus on America and forget about Africa. The man is a white man. He could have just forgotten about us. What's his business? After all, he has America force to deal with, to take away, to snatch America from the shackles of colonial slavery from Europe. He, he, that, that is enough to keep him busy for the next eight years, but he still pays attention to Africa. You had a man who, who claimed to be an African, African president of the United States of America. And it's not just that he was one of the, the slaves who went to the U.S. This one, his father was from Africa, only immigrated to the U.S. Obama came to power and he ended up being the one who imposed a curse on you and I. How many people know that the APC regime, which of course everybody now agrees is the worst regime in the history of Nigeria, that it was actually the Democrats in America under Obama and Clinton who imposed this regime on Nigerians? How many of you know that? Did you notice that time when the, the northern governors and, and their fellow APC people were traveling to go and meet Obama and all of that, and later Obama campaign manager David Plouffe and the rest of them came to Nigeria and set up APC? They actually birthed the Democratic Party of America in Nigeria physically. They came and gave birth to a democratic that's why when you look at the democrats in america and look at apc not a single difference everything just the same like identical twins the same bloodline the same everything the same lunacy the same wickedness the same socialistic mindset the same thing why are you crying you want us to talk about nigeria let's do it 2015, scroll down on my page on Facebook and see how many times we cried. We wailed and they called us wailers. And we happily took the title. And you were rejoicing. And you were rejoicing and they were telling you lies about a man who was ready to save Nigeria. And you people kicked him out. All of you should go and bury your heads in shame. You are not fit to be among the human beings on this earth. And you are still talking. You come out and open your mouth and talk trash. You, what did you do when they were malining Jonathan? What did you do when they were talking trash and lying against the man? They came to Southwest and picked some of our brothers. Femi Kayade excluded. And Fayosh and a few. The rest of them, they packed them. And they gathered them together. Hey, they told them to go and tell lies. And they were telling lies against the man who came to save them. And I told them, watch out. It's going to come to all of you one after the other. Has it come or has it not come? It has come down. And this is just the beginning. The only hope we have today is still the same Trump. And these fools, these lunatics are here fighting against Trump. I don't know. The problem is not the people who cause the pain. It is the fact that the people who they cause the pain... Are no longer living they don't have brains anymore to think not to talk of even thinking objectively they came they gathered all of you your papa jigo adeboye came and told and told oshim but just to go and, and, and join everybody followed they lied to you the the war and campaign to put buhari in power started from the southwest ended in the southwest of nigeria a southern part of the territory in nigeria that should be joining with their brothers Look at what is happening today. Nigeria is literally completely under bondage. Look at all the policies that the man is making. Okay, today in, your, in, in, in Buhari's government, how many Yorubas are there? How many Igbos are there? How many? When it was happening, you thought it was going to be to favor you and then disfavor your brothers. When he hit this person, it's going to hit the other person. You see what is happening? 
Look at Shore. You don't want us to talk about America. You want us to talk about Nigeria. Nigeria, stupid animals. You want to talk about Nigeria. But Shore's freedom is being now sought from America. His wife is going from one congressman to another congressman to another senator. All in the United States of America. But you don't, you, you don't want to talk about Trump. You don't want to talk about America. You want to talk about Nigerian politics. Do you have Nigeria? Nigeria is not a nation. You talk about Nigeria does not have a politics. I did a video. I have done so many videos. You haven't been watching. Check all my videos I've done to expose the evils. That they, I did a video on Lord Luga to show you that Lord Luga created Nigerian system out of a figment. It was a figment of his imagination. Nigerian system was not in existence anywhere, is not in existence anywhere, will never be in existence anywhere. Lord Luga just created it on his own. And it was created to be a system that goes in reverse. So when things are going forward, the Nigerian system is created originally, organically to move in reverse. That's why everything goes backwards in Nigeria. That's why when I talk about the freedom of my people, I don't want to live together with anybody. And I'm sorry. Not that I don't love every other person. You see, once they give us our Eastern Nigeria, the way you've got South Sudan, because South Sudan is so rich, that's why they want to destabilize the place so that they will give us the impression that, oh, you can never be on your own. You better stay together with this bondage. We will not be in the bondage. We will be free. And when we become free, let everybody be free and stay on their own. Let's have some type of link that connects us one way or the other. But we will not live together. Because even when we are completely free from this wickedness, they will still find some more people to use again against the collective interests of the southerners. We are so foolish. Look at T.Y. Danjuma now. T.Y. Danjuma is now telling you that if he opens his mouth to talk about what is happening in Nigeria, that hey, everybody will not sleep again. I have seen it long before, Mr. Danjuma. When you were marching to Asso Rock to go and march Jonathan out, to go and negotiate his exit. You did not know that when you open your mouth that there will be trouble. Everybody who saw what happened in Nigeria and who aided the emergence of Buhari as the president of Nigeria, you are a fool and you should hide yourselves in shame. Don't come here and talk sense. I will never listen to you. That's why when, when Shore started talking, he wants to be president. I was so angry with him. I was so mad. I say, if you didn't know that Buhari would turn out to be the man he is today, if you went and supported him and fought Jonathan the way you did, I don't think you should ever you should go to school and learn how to do political forecasts. You need to be discerning. Political discernment must be a part of your life if you want to have anything to do with politics. You want me to come and listen to you? I pray that God will help them to pick, take him out. Because all the people who brought this evil, the same evil is going to hit all of them one by one. But the rest of us, why should we suffer for it? That's why God has given us Trump. That's why the United States of America is the only standing beacon of hope today. And the fools who did not see this many years ago are still not able to see it. Some of them are in America fighting the Trump and their families are being saved at home by the United States of America. Which other country in Europe or anywhere in the world can do what Trump has done so far? I said it in my video and people thought I was just making it up. I've given you Google references. Go and check. Check every, all the media houses in Nigeria today. Every single one of them. They are not talking about uh, 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 Nigeria has been placed on, on, on watch list. Trump, a uh, uh, punch is now calling uh, Buhari tyrant. Oh, you're just waking up now. You guys dedicated your entire machinery to bringing this beast to power. You people should be all ashamed of yourselves. I am, I am pointing the direction now to the freedom again for you guys. I'm pointing it again and you're not listening. I'm pointing it again and you're not listening. Donald Trump is the only one, the only beacon of hope today. If you like, continue to fight Trump. He has placed Nigeria on watch list. By 2020, they will, if not for Donald Trump in power, if not for Donald J. Trump, by now you think you will still be in Nigeria as a Christian. Are you mad? They would have wiped all of you off now since. That's why part of what is happening in America, people, politicians in Nigeria are part of the sponsors of what the evil that Democrats are doing in America. They're sending money to them to make sure they continue to harass Donald Trump. You think it is about Trump? He, he released a, a, a statement recently. He said, look, it's not really about me. It's about you. Just that I'm standing in the way. And it is true. 
what is happening in America? I think it's Trump they are after. They are not after Trump. They are after you and I. The man is standing in the way. We Christians are not saying that you know, Trump is, uh, is perfect or whatever. No, I'm not looking for a perfect man. We know that Donald Trump is the enemy of our enemies. And he's ready to fight. Why should we not stand with him if you think you have brains? The enemy of your enemy should be your friend. The only man who has been able to stand up to these evil, wicked, imperialist regimes of Europe. Look at how he's messing them up everywhere. From Cameroon to South Sudan to Nigeria, all these places are being held down by European forces. And these European forces are not happy that Trump is about to set the indigenous communities free from the shackles of their age-long colonial wickedness and slavery. And you are joining them to fight the Trump who came to save you. Ah, now I believe the story of Jesus even more. The people who, are, who you came to save are the ones fighting you. And you are happy to flash the breaking news. U.S. has placed Nigeria on a special watch list. They, just a few days ago, you were siding with the Democrats to fight the same man. Religious persecution has been paramount to Donald Trump. And he's ready to fight it to the end. And you are fighting Donald Trump. The man who came to save you. And now he's our second chance. So wait now until he leaves. Once he leaves... I will just shut down everything. Bam. Just get ready for the Antichrist to emerge and begin to eat all of you like pepper soup because that's what many of you deserve. But I pray that God will help the rest of us who have actually seen the truth and are following the truth. I pray that the Most High God will help us to open our minds to see the truth and follow the truth. The foolishness and stupidity in the land is beyond imagination. It is too much. And that's my anger. You see, when I, you see me talking sometimes and I'm shouting and screaming, that's what I do when I get angry. Because that's the only way I can express myself. Every time you hear my voice up, it's because I have an anger on the inside that I don't know how to let out. If I'm not angry and you and I talk, you will beg me to speak up. I am so angry. I am so enraged on the inside. I don't know what is wrong with my people. But I know that as we pray, that God will continue to raise up giants, not giants in the, in the physical body, but giants in their mind who think and reason like the human beings that we're supposed to be. And may God Almighty in heaven continue to bless the United States of America. May he please keep and bless Donald J. Trump for us. That no matter what happens, that nothing will happen to that man. May God bless him, his entire family, and that everything that he lays his hands or hands upon, they will prosper. Thank you and may God bless you.